All right, we're going to talk about learning target six and seven today. Learning target six shouldn't take any time at all because yesterday we put the whole entire unit circle together in class. So um, you have a unit circle, you need to have it out in order to do learning target six. For learning target six, the whole entire point is that you're going to use the unit circle to find all the trig values. So because of that, on the quiz, the first quiz, you will have two parts. Right? One part you will come in and you won't use your calculator and you will be given a unit circle, my copy, not yours, so not the one with your notes all over it, but a unit circle and the first part of the quiz and you'll complete that and then you'll turn it back into me and then you can get your calculator out to do part two of the quiz for the rest of the learning target. All right? So I really do want you to learn how to use the unit circle. So at the very end yesterday, we talked about why the unit circle was import important. We figured out that if you had some angle on the unit circle, you had the y distance and the x distance, and we figured out that sine was the y value and cosine was the x value. If you can't remember, they're in alphabetical order, just like the coordinate is. Okay? So the coordinate is x, y, the coordinate is also cosine and sine. Okay? Now, if you're looking at the unit circle, we should be able to find all the other values, too. So, if you look up here at the circle, we're looking at this angle right here. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Well, it just so happens, then, that opposite is y and adjacent is x, and so you get y over x. If it helps you to remember, you can also think of it as sine over cosine. Okay, that might be a way to help you remember. So cosine is x and sine is y and tangent is sine over cosine. If you know those three things, then you can find all the reciprocals. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so 1 over y. Secant is the reciprocal of x, so 1 over x. You're just going to be flipping over those values through the reciprocal. And cotangent is x over y or cosine over sine. So today, all we're going to do for learning target six is use that circle to answer questions. Okay? Now, there's all those ratios we just talked about, but you really don't need to memorize the whole entire circle right now, and then you need to remember two things to be successful on the quiz. One, again, you need to remember that x, y is the same thing as cosine, sine, okay? And you need to remember that tangent is y over x, or it's sine over cosine. If you know those two things, you're good to go, for, because if you should know the reciprocals already. Now, let's say you forget. You're looking at the unit circle and you have everything blank, just you can't remember. If you look at one angle, just pick one. You know the radius is 1, this is y, this is x, so this is the vertical distance, this is the horizontal distance, right? And so if you are looking at the point, then you should be able to figure out, well, sine is supposed to be opposite over hypotenuse. Well, opposite over hypotenuse would be y over 1. So you would figure out, oh, okay, that should be the y value. So you can always go back and look at it that way too, all right? So let's actually do some problems. All right, so use the unit circle to find each value. The first one is tangent of 180 degrees. So I'm going to go to my unit circle. Here's 180 degrees. Tangent, well, it's tangent of 180. We know the angle measure. Tangent is y over x or sine over cosine. So, in this case, y is 0, and x is negative 1, and 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So, the tangent of 180 degrees is 0. Okay? The next one, the so secant of negative 90. Well, secant of negative 90 
negative 90 is not on the unit circle, but there is an angle that is coterminal. Negative 90, if you started from zero, will be right here. So really, I'm looking at 270. So it's the same thing as finding the secant of 270 degrees. Okay? Now, at 270 degrees, we don't have sine and, we don't have secant. We have sine and cosine. So secant is the reciprocal of cosine, right? So we need to find cosine of 270 first. So cosine is the x. So cosine of 270 is 0. So that's 0. So if I wanted to go back and find that, I have 1 over 0, so the reciprocal for secant, and 1 over 0 is undefined. All right, so negative 90 isn't on the unit circle technically, so we need to find a coterminal angle. Secant's not listed on the unit circle, but cosine is. So we need to find that first and then find the reciprocal. So secant of negative 90 ends up being undefined. Okay. Now the other two examples, we're going to find all six trig functions right, using the unit circle. So the first, okay. so we're going to go, I'm just going to write them on the other screen. I'm just looking for degrees. So here is 30 degrees, all the information that we need. I just wrote through it, so that doesn't help. Okay, so for 30 degrees, if we find sine, of 30 degrees. That's the y. So that's one half. We find cosine of 30 degrees. That's the x. Square root of 3 over 2. Okay? Now if we find tangent of 30 degrees, that's y over x or sine over cosine. So that's one half divided by the square root of 3 over 2. Now we need to simplify this so we need to be able to multiply through it by the reciprocal. Remember, dividing fractions is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So you have to cross these two, they cancel out, right? They reduce. So we have 1 from the square root of 3. And we're not going to leave it that way. We're going to rationalize the square root of 3 over 3. Okay? That is tangent 30 degrees. Now I also have to find all of the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. And the reciprocal of 1 half is just 2. Now for secant, the reciprocal of cosine, we're going to have to do some more work. Because we'll get 2 over the square root of 3. And we need to rationalize that. We get 2 square roots of 3 over 3. And then cotangent, I'm just going to select this equivalent piece before I rationalize. And I'm going to take the reciprocal of that so that I don't have to rationalize again. And so I just get the square root of 3. Once you have the first three, you have to flip the rest of them to get the reciprocal. Okay, so... I'm going to give you a second to do 225 degrees on your own, on your note. All right, so I'll give you a second. Um, I'm going to be working them up here, but you can be working them at your desk. And you can check when you're done. So I'm not going to talk through these. I'm just going to have you do them on your own.
been working, but they are up here to look at sine and cosine again is straight from the unit circle. Tangent, we divide sine by cosine or y by x. And something divided by itself is 1, or you could have multiplied by the reciprocal and things cancel. It is positive. Remember, negative divided by a negative is positive. For cosecant, you need to take the reciprocal, and you get negative square root of 2. Since sine and cosine are the same here, then cosecant and secant are the same. And then the reciprocal of 1 is still 1, so cotangent is also 1. That's learning target 6. Be able to use the unit circle. All right, so your assignment tonight, make sure you're looking at the unit circle when you're doing them. Don't type things into your calculator. Look at the unit circle. You have one. If you don't, can't find yours, it's on my website. The link's there. Go find it. You want to be able to use the unit circle because, again, on the quiz, you won't have access to your calculator. Okay? It's nice to have all these exact answers. If you type sine of 225 degrees into your calculator, you don't get negative square root of 2 over 2. You get a decimal. I don't want the decimal. Okay? All right. Now, we're going to do learning target 7. Learning target 7 gives you a point on the coordinate plane. Remember, the unit circle is centered on the coordinate plane. And we're going to use some bunch, a bunch of the ideas we've learned in this section so far, learning targets 1 through 7, put it together in order to, in order to find trig ratios. Okay? So, it says here, for any angle in standard position, yeah, that means the vertex is at the origin, right? With measure of theta, so we aren't going to know the angle measure. We're going to be given a point on its terminal side, and it says r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. This is just the Pythagorean theorem, which just solve for r. Remember r from the, radi the radius in the unit circle, so we're still calling it r. And then it gives you all of these, func these functions, and it gives you all these ratios. Now, for the unit circle, the radius was 1. So for sine, it was y divided by 1. So we should y. In this case, we're not on the unit circle. Since we're not on the unit circle, we need to make sure, we don't know the angle measure, we need to make sure we know the radius before we get started. Okay? Now, you don't have to memorize all these. If you will draw a picture, then you can just use what you learned in Learning Target 5 or what you knew already from Learning Target 5 and do Sokotoa. And it'll be fine. Okay? So. You can write those down if you want to, but instead of memorizing a bunch of stuff, then learn, just know Sokotoa and learn to draw a picture. So here we go. We're going to find all six trig values for an angle in standard position if a point with the given coordinate slides on its terminal. So the first one is 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, one, two, three 4. Know that it's in standard position. What I do is I want to draw a triangle using the reference angle. Right? The reference angle was the angle created between the small side and the x-axis. Because of that, I'm going to connect the triangle right here. All right? I'm always going to be interested in the angle coming out from the origin. All right? Well, now I have a picture, and now I can label some things. We went three units to the Right, so that's your x distance. We went four units up, that's our y distance. And so now we just need the hypotenuse of our triangle. You have two options. Either know it's a special triangle, it's a three, four, five triangle. If you don't, then you find the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem, right? Three squared plus four squared is 25, and the square root of 25 is five. So now we're just going to find sine, cosine, and tangent, and then the reciprocals just by looking at this triangle. So sine of some angle we don't know, so we call it theta, is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 4 over 5. Again, we're looking at the angle I shaded in. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's 3 over 5. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, so 4 over 3. Then to do all the reciprocals, we just flip all those over. So cosecant is, well, I just wrote the same thing again. Cosecant is 5 over 4. Secant, 5 over 3. And cotangent is 3 over 4. Right? That example is not that bad. It was literally learning target 5. We should have drawn a picture to figure it out first. 
Okay? That's a lot better than trying to memorize a bunch of ratios like y over r and x over r if you just know so Katoa. Okay? Let's do one with a little more challenge. Okay? So in this one, we have the point negative 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, so here is my terminal side. Now, technically, that's representing this angle, right? It says an angle in standard position. That's this angle. But we're going to draw the triangle using the reference angle. And a reference angle is between the x-axis and the terminal side. So here is my triangle. So my x-distance was negative 6. The negative does matter. My y distance was 6. I need to find the hypotenuse this time. Right? It's not a special triangle. It's not 3, 4, 5. So I need to find the hypotenuse. So I'm going to find the radius. If you thought about this on a circle, or find the hypotenuse. 6 squared plus negative 6 squared, which is 72. So we get the square root of 72. You can leave it like that, or we could simplify because 72 is 2 times 36. So we have 6 square root of 2. Okay? So now that I have all that, I can go through and find all my trig values. So again, I'm worried about the angle that's at the origin. So I just shaded it in. So, sine. It's opposite over hypotenuse. That is 6 over 6 square root of 2. So I can cancel the 6's out. I get 1 over the square root of 2. I need to rationalize, though. So the square root of 2 over 2. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's negative 6 over 6 square root of 2. So I do this again. I get negative 1 over the square root of 2. So it'll simplify the same as sine. We just have a negative this time. Negative square root of 2 over 2. For tangent, we have opposite over adjacent. 6 over negative 6. That's just negative 1. And then we go back and we do all of our reciprocals. So it'll cosecant. Sine was 1 over the square root of 2, so cosecant is the square root of 2 over 1, or square root of 2. Secant. Cosine was negative 1 over the square root of 2, so secant is negative square root of 2. And then tangent, sorry, cotangent is still negative 1. The reciprocal of negative 1 is still negative 1. Okay? That's learning target 7. Pretty much using learning target five, and then the idea of we can use or make our triangles in the coordinate plane. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.